Steven Andres here for thelines.com. It is Thursday, June 23rd, and the NBA draft is this evening starting 8 o'clock Eastern time. In this video, we are going to look at the latest developments in the related betting markets, see if there's anything actionable. I will share the couple of NBA draft bets that I have locked in. We'll also look at the reporting that our lead writer, Eli Hershkovich, has done over at thelines.com to help us navigate those odds. First of all, over at thelines.com on the homepage, <clears throat> you will see our NBA draft tracker, the latest news affecting the odds in the market. You can click on that. Eli's going to be updating this as draft time gets closer. And uh, boy, did we have some craziness going on in the betting markets with the number one overall pick earlier on Thursday morning. Going back to when this market opened, Jabari Smith was the favorite. He was the favorite for a while. Paolo Bancaro was as long as 20 to 1. And then on Thursday morning, the morning of the draft, Odds shifted all the way to Bancaro being minus 600, and then it's shifted all the way back to now Jamar, Jabari Smith basically being unbettable at like minus 10,000 over at the uh, the sports books after a Woj bomb locking in what was initially the consensus before the last couple of days happened, where the one, two, three would be Jabari Smith, Chet Holmgren, and Paolo Bancaro. So that's where we're at, but there are some other markets still on the board over at uh, one of our partners, Caesar Sportsbook, that we can look at. And the intrigue happens at the number four pick where the Sacramento Kings are at. And Eli was reporting Thursday morning that Jaden Ivey went from minus 155 to minus 200 to be the fourth overall selection. But um, this is because of potentially some trade speculation because it seems as if the Kings are going to keep that pick, that they are on Keegan Murray. And Eli, in an earlier article this week, noted that. You can check out his articles for the NBA draft. If you're on the one we talked about uh, over here, you can just click on NBA draft at the top, and it'll take you to the rest of our NBA draft coverage. But the one I'm looking at here from Monday, where the Caesar Sportsbook NBA draft odds, and uh, of course, the $1,500 risk-free bet, you can click play now if you don't have a Caesars account yet and use the code legal15 to lock that in. But along those lines with the number four pick, Jaden Ivey now uh, a big favorite there uh, from earlier this week. And then as we talked about, minus 200 this morning. Uh, so what's going on with the number four pick? And for Eli, he bet Murray on Monday at plus 250 to be the fourth pick over at the Kings. Uh, not only has the Kings owner endorsed Murray, the former Iowa star, but Eli notes that he's also a perfect fit for the roster alongside the 6'11 Demonis Sabonis uh, as another stretch big and a, th and a three man uh, for their lineup, a small forward, because Sacramento, if they were to take Jaden Ivey, it's, it's another ball handler. He said he wants to be a point guard at the NBA level, and they already have Darren Fox and Davion Mitchell, so it's not as smooth as a fit. Uh, it doesn't really round out their potential future starting lineup. So from just a basketball standpoint, it seems that Murray fits there. There are reports that he has had dinner with the two Sacramento Kings stars that was arranged by the front office. Uh, so there's clearly interest in Murray. The curveball that might get thrown here is if the Kings trade the pick. And if somebody comes up for what would the consensus assumption be to take Ivy. So that's why the odds are potentially still there for Ivy uh, as the favorite, but Eli disagrees with it. I have also bet Murray at plus money to be the number four pick based on reports that the, the Kings asking price for number four is rumored to be two additional future first round picks. So I'm skeptical that they get their asking price. So I'm with Eli. If they keep this pick, I think it's going to be Murray. If they don't keep the pick, I do think it's going to be Ivy. But if 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 the rest of the teams behind them are assuming that if the Kings pick keep the pick, it's going to be Murray, then there's an opportunity to trade up to number five and get Ivy for a cheaper price than what the Kings are asking for. So obviously, this is the NBA draft. We're dealing in rampant speculation here. A lot of reports. Just look at what happened with the number one pick. It's hard to know what's true and what's not. So... Uh, but we're we're doing the best we can with the information that we have. Let's go back to uh, Eli's article from Monday here with the with the tracker. And the other thing I want to mention here is the number seven pick. 
Looks like the Blazers might be trading out of that pick. Yahoo Sports reported that um, that the Blazers are interested in trading for Raptors forward OG Ananobi to get the number seven pick. So uh, if, if you were following Portland reports on who they might draft, consider that that might not be the case. And the other thing I wanted to hit on here is um, the number five pick. And this is something that Eli has noted uh, in his reporting earlier this week, and it has to do with Ben Matherin. Now, on Monday, you can see here his odds were pretty much split, minus one fifteen both ways, to be over or under the pick six and a half. Uh, over at Caesar Sportsbook, that has changed substantially. We are now looking at minus three twenty for Matherin to go under six and a half. Uh, I bet this on Wednesday at minus 220, so a little more than two units, risk to win one unit. Um, Eli's reporting on this following the other rumors going around is that the that Matherin, the Arizona star, has had an fantastic workouts along the way. He shot up the boards for a lot of teams and potentially with the number five pick uh, to Detroit in the Pistons. Um, but it seems like at worst, the number six pick with the Indiana Pacers. So that's why we're seeing such heavy juice there, um, on Matherin under six and a half. If you don't want to lay that juice over at Caesars, you can check out the exact pick market. There's a number four pick. Uh, if we check out the number five pick, Matherin is still plus 180 to go number five. Obviously, there's a risk there that they could take Keegan Murray, but I think Keegan Murray is going to be off the board at number four. Um, and I think Matherin uh, fits nicely with Detroit. It seems like the reports have been that he, um, the, the team really likes him as well. So uh, those are a couple of the insights we have there for, for more you can check out Eli's articles. Again, you can go at the top of any one of his articles, click on NBA Draft to check out the rest of his coverage. Um, he also has some more reporting here down at the bottom. Um, you know, Bonus codes, early NBA Draft rumors, and also the top 10 college players that are not entering the NBA Draft, which should make for a very exciting college hoop season as well with so much talent and NIL money going back into that system to give us uh, some some really good players coming back and which should be an exciting season on the college side as well. Uh, be sure to check out our Discord channel, top right corner, hit that Discord button and uh, you can join our free Discord. A lot of other sites will charge you or make you pay to join their Discord, but you can do it for free at thelines.com and uh, you can... Uh, check out our college basketball channel there. That's where we'll be discussing some of the NBA draft stuff this evening. Uh, Eli's in there talking with people. You know, we are, um, you know, pretty strong at this point, more than a thousand people in our Discord channel. So be sure to check us out over there. And again, it's it's free to join. And lastly, every day at thelines.com, we have free contests that you can join. Just go to play.thelines.com. And you can sign up and play in a number of free contests to win gift cards. Uh, right now, we have our daily baseball contest, NHL Stanley Cup Challenge, Travelers Championship as well. Uh, all kinds of different contests each and every day for a chance for you guys to play free and win gift cards. So uh, thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you enjoy the NBA draft. Uh, I will be having a drink, wallowing in my trust the process failures over the years as a 76ers fan and hoping for a better future ahead, starting with this NBA draft. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the draft.